of his matches. Rafa Nadal's looked pretty comfortable in what he's been doing so far. Uh, but Djokovic, first round match, was just racing through it. And you look at the head-to-head -head record between himself and Darcy, and he's won both of their encounters. One came on clay back in 2008. Djokovic won that one 6-4, 6 love. They played last year in Miami on the hard courts. It was 6 love, 7-5. Hard really to see like uh, anything other than a straight set to win here. Well, most likely, but uh, when we talked about the tall mountain to climb, let's not forget that the crowd will get behind our sea. You know, uh, they always love cheering for the underdog here in Paris. And uh, against Filip Krajinovic in the quarterfinals in Belgrade back in 2010, lowest ranked player that he lost to in a grand slam. And Safin was, even though his ranking was down that low at the time. Safin, grand slam winner, of course, and could have been even greater than he was, one feels, but he's not entirely sure whether Safin ever really enjoyed players who's ever existed. Oh, when I think about Marat, you know, it reminds me of uh, Tomic in a way. Very talented player, big game, uh, but... Uh,